Consider a simple pendulum undergoing simple harmonic motion with a time period t and a fixed amplitude theta not of angular oscillation. Its angular momentum above the about the point of suspension exhibits an oscillatory behavior with an amplitude a. Which of the following relations between a and t is correct? Or a ka proportional relationship pucha hai t ke power se 3, 2, 1, 4. Okay. Now understand this. Simple pendulum hai and it is undergoing simple harmonic motion. Okay, which means this is still under the small angle approximation. That is sine theta approximately equal to theta. If you look at the expression that we, or if you look at the derivation that we write for the time period, derivation, not the formula, there we will we use that. Okay, so it is approximately simple harmonic. Lekin yaha pe bola hai ki SHM. To hum usko use first. Step 1, write down the formula for the time period. What is it? Time period formula 2 pi. 2 pi under root L by G. Yes, yesterday we have solved a problem on this. So we'll keep this aside. And uh, see, they have given that the amplitude of pendulum, angular amplitude is theta. Okay, so what can we use ho sakta hai Suppose this is the wall or ceiling, ceiling not wall, ceiling and suppose the pendulum is suspended there. Okay, suppose the pendulum is suspended like that and here is the bar of the pendulum. Okay, now when the bob swings to its extreme position, it slightly goes up but we are going to ignore that and this happens to be theta max or theta naught okay fixed amplitude theta naught of angular oscillation yahan tak sab logon ko clear hai kya yes sir hmm. now please note this please note this they have also said that angular momentum exhibits oscillatory behavior hmm? when any oscillating object is at the extreme positions what can be said about the velocity sir zero zero so if the velocity is zero here and zero here if the velocity is 0 there and 0 there, can we say that the angular momentum which is mvr, it is also 0? And because they are saying that it exhibits an oscillatory behavior, we can say that here because the speed is maximum, angular momentum should also be maximum. Correct? And we have to now determine the proportionality relationship between the angular momentum and the time period. Okay, so how can we do this? Firstly, uh, write down the expression for the angular momentum at the center. Okay, so what will happen? L max is equal to mass into V max into R. What is V max? V max is the amplitude into natural frequency right so what is the amplitude of this motion linear amplitude i'm saying if we assume that the length of the pendulum is l then this displacement has to be l theta naught arc length is equal to radius into angle but we are approximating it so this chord length hai, wo arc length ke liye hum play sakta hai. Okay? so that is l theta naught into omega natural into this length is again. Let me know if you understood that part. Yes, this L is actually R, the distance between the point about which you are finding the angular momentum and the location where your object is currently located. 
Is that clear? Hmm? Yes. Okay. Okay. And if this uh, bob is moving towards right, its velocity will be in this direction, and its r bar will be in this direction. So obviously, sine theta will be ninety. So उसका कोई हमें significance अभी नहीं कर worry नहीं करना उसके ठीक है. We are almost there now. Mass of the bob is fixed. Cannot change it. Can we change theta not? We cannot change theta not because it is mentioned in the problem. Fixed है amplitude. मतलब जितने भी क्वांटिटीज यहां पर फिक्स्ड है उनको हम एक आ, से एक ब्रैकेट में लिखेंगे और जो वेरिएबल क्वांटिटीज है या जो चेंज हो सकते हैं उसको हम देखेंगे सो एल स्क्वाड ऑफ गॉड इट नाउ व्हाट रिलेशनशिप डू सर द लेंथ ऑफ द स्ट्रिंग इज वेरिएबल इट्स नॉट वेरिएबल बट इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द टाइम पीरियड आई वुड से right okay what i meant to say is mass and theta not they don't depend on time period agreed yes sir that i understand okay l square and omega now omega is 2 pi by t therefore omega varies inversely with t aur ye kya ho jayega square kar do And t squared varies with l, right? So l squared vary will vary with fourth power of t. Put it there. Therefore, l max, which is proportional to l squared omega, will now be proportional to t raised to four into one upon d. Right? Omega is inversely proportional to t. Therefore, l max will be proportional to third power of time period option d ye capital hai angular momentum ka hi amplitude hai followed simple problem sir but, but it is given ke a is amplitude and not angular momentum no its angular momentum exhibits an oscillatory behavior with an amplitude which means it's the maximum ang angular momentum which is equal to a read the problem its angular momentum exhibits oscillatory behavior with an amplitude so a itself is the amplitude or maximum value of the angular momentum so l max yes sir okay theek hai तो आप लोगों को ऐसे प्रॉब्लम्स आ सकते हैं बाकी के बाकी फिजिक्स टॉपिक्स में भी जो प्रॉब्लम में कहा गया है कि ये फिक्स्ड है ये चेंज नहीं हो रहा है तो उसको कांस्टेंट ही रखना है मास यूजुअली चेंज नहीं होता है तो मास भी हमेशा कांस्टेंट रहे नॉट डिपेंड ऑन अदर थिंग्स ठीक है